The Teach Back Method is a powerful communication technique developed by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality to support the Healthy People 2030 goal of improved communication between patients and health professionals. There are five essential techniques of the Teach Back Method. Chunk and check, non-shaming, plain language, avoiding yes or no questions, and closing the loop. These techniques are designed to enhance your communication skills fostering a patient-centered approach that promotes understanding, engagement, and informed decision-making. In this video, we will focus on exploring the chunk and check technique. The chunk and check strategy of the teach back method guides clinicians to deliver information in small segments or chunks. Let's explore a brief emergency room scenario. Hi, I'm Dr. Chen. I'm sorry you burned your hand. Can you tell me what happened? A few days ago, I was cooking dinner, and I accidentally spilled boiling water on my hand. It keeps hurting and looks worse. Ouch. That can happen. Can you show me? I'll need to see if I need to debride the burn. Debride what? This is a small burn affecting the epidermis and dermis. No microtic tissue. And yes, you'll need to get sterile dressings to change regularly. Oh, and make sure to do this in a sterile environment, and always remember to apply antibiotic ointment. Okay, but I'm not sure what any of that means. Providing too much information within a short time can overwhelm a patient's ability to retain important information and can negatively impact self-empowerment within healthcare experiences. By talking about care instructions and using medical terms while looking at the wound, the physician overwhelmed the patient. Chunking the delivery of critical care information into smaller segments also allows providers to verify patient understanding throughout the interaction. Let's try that again. Okay, so I'm going to briefly clean the wound and see if there is anything else we need to do to promote good healing. This is a small burn affecting the epidermis and dermis. What I mean to say is the epidermis and dermis are layers of the skin. The good news is this burn is on a small area that will heal nicely with a few care instructions. All done. Now for the step-by-step -step home care instructions. Okay. The biggest takeaway to care for the burn is to keep the burn area clean and covered with a bandage. Change the bandage twice a day and apply a dime-sized dollop of antibiotic ointment to the burn each time. Now, it is going to itch. That is a part of the healing process. But avoid scratching the burn or an infection can form. Don't forget to check in with your primary care doctor. But if the burn wound becomes worse, or if you have any concerns, please come back to the ER. Now, do you have any questions for me? Nope, I understand. Thank you, Dr. Chen. To learn more about the other essential techniques of the Teach Back Method, select the link in the description to view the full Stanford CME Mastering the Teach Back Method for Patient-Centered Care Module.